All right, next, let's talk about contact points or how can we allow Grafana to send messages externally? You want to navigate the URL or thing menu on the left hand side and go to contact points. Here on the contact points, we can create a new template if we want to, or we can add a new contact point. So click on the new contact point and here let's give it a name. So let's first try to create an integration with Slack. Uh, I'll call it Slack. Here from the drop down, you're going to navigate all the way down to Slack. And then you're going to be asked to provide the recipient. In this case, the recipient for Slack is going to be the channel name. In my case, the channel name is called demo nifi You're also going to be asked to provide a token. But if you don't have a token, you can use a webhook URL. So for this case, I will use a webhook URL. Paste that in. You can even add Slack settings, the username for the bot message or the emoji that's going to be used, the icon URL, mention user or mention group, mention channel. Let's say uh, if you want to mention a particular channel, endpoint URL and the title or the text body. Notification setting as well. So now let's test our integration. So before we test, let's bring Slack in the picture and click test, send not test notification. We can see that we automatically got a new notification from Grafana and with the following information. So this is just a dummy test. All right, so this is how we integrate it with Slack. Let's create another notification. Let's save this one now and add a new contact point. This time it's gonna be a Discord contact point, similar to Slack. I'm gonna say Discord and we're gonna select Discord here. We only provide a Discord hook URL. And again, I'm not gonna go over the settings. Let's bring the Discord UI and you see I have a new channel here created which is private. The way you create the URL, you click on the channel, you go to integration and you click on the webhook. Once you create it, he will provide you with the webhook URL. Let's test it. Test send notification. We can see that we have a successful send. And if we go and view the channel, we see we just got a new message.